From plastic strands to perfectly pointed dental floss picks, this line works like a sushi chef. Precision, speed, and a strange satisfaction in watching one become a small, sharp savior for your molars. Old paint doesn't leave without a fight. The scraper peels it off in curling ribbons, like pasta that's been stuck to a pan since 1987. Metal drilling in full swing, each hole perfectly aligned. It's like dot to dot for grown-ups, except the final picture is a functioning machine part, not a cat. A pet water dispenser in action. Gravity and clever angles keep Fido hydrated without you refilling the bowl five times a day. Simple physics, happy paws. A rubber tree gives up its latex. A neat spiral cut guides the white sap down. <laughs> Pellets take shape, compressed and uniform. Whether for heating stoves or industrial feed, their size matters. Consistent burn, consistent performance. Tile grout fills the gaps, sealing in the pattern like icing between cake layers. Epoxy floor coating rolls out smooth and glossy, a liquid shield that could double as a skating rink, if you're into lawsuits. Oil sprays into a bucket. This isn't culinary, it's industrial lubrication, destined for gears and bearings that will never taste garlic, but still need TLC. A glowing steel sphere meets the flame in a melting trial, surface shimmering before surrendering to heat, proving that even metal bows under the right temperature. A steel ladle spins beneath the cutter, shaving roughness into a mirrored finish so smooth it could moonlight as a soup selfie. Layers of rubber framing peel apart slowly, each strip revealing the hidden texture beneath, like undoing decades of industrial lamination. Flat boxes fold into perfect shapes, sealed in seconds, like watching paper origami powered by caffeine and conveyor belts. Thick golden oil churns lazily inside the drum, folding over itself until every swirl disappears into perfect glossy uniformity. A window pane turns crystal clear under steady wipes, each stroke catching the light like a miniature sunrise. Metal roofing slides into place high above ground, each panel locking in with a satisfying click, sealing the sky from the living room. A welder's torch spits sparks in bright burst, fusing steel blocks together into one solid, immovable mass. Steel rods curl into perfect rings, spring tough and ready for machinery, looking like slinkies built for giants. A pile driver drops its hammer again and again, pounding massive columns deep into the soil with bone-shaking force. A rotating cutter strips bark clean from timber, revealing pale, raw wood beneath like peeling a giant vegetable.
huge gear teeth, worn thin, are rebuilt groove by groove, restoring decades of dependable mechanical bite. Stone meets chisel in rhythmic blows. The oldest manufacturing method still as stubbornly effective as ever. Plastic blocks crash into spinning blades exploding into bright confetti destined for another round of useful life. A laser head darts across metal at breakneck speed, etching designs sharper than any human hand could draw. Fruit pulp slides into vats, beginning a slow, boozy transformation that ends with bottles and a reason to celebrate. A waterway's grassy edges get trimmed neat, keeping the channel clear so the current never slows. A wooden log spins under the laid steady bite, shaving layer after layer until a smooth, balanced form emerges like pottery from a wheel. Dry leaves scatter in a swirling dance, as the blower roars, turning a messy yard into a neat, empty stage. A spiked drill head hammers the old floor, breaking the surface apart like ice on a frozen lake in early spring. Freshly cut grass bales roll tight, wrapped neatly, sealed to keep that earthy smell for months. A road sign gets scrubbed clean, bright colors returning from beneath months of dust, like an old painting restored. A drill chuck locks into place, the bit spinning sharp enough to carve precise paths through solid steel. A wall crumbles neatly under a multi-purpose drill, thus falling in slow sheets while the bit pushes deeper. Metal spins under a cutting tool, slowly transforming into a perfect geometric shape with flawless edges. A rotating cutter widens a pipe's hole, shaving away steel like pencil shavings falling to the floor.
Metal sheets compress under tons of pressure, forced into precise molds that will hold their shape forever. Clay spins on a potter's wheel, hands coaxing a flat disc into life, ready to be fired solid. A molding strip meets the saw, sliced clean at a perfect 45 degrees, a carpenter's favorite angle. One door, two rooms, a clever design saving space without sacrificing style. An old rusted coat of paint gets stripped away, leaving fresh metal ready for a second chance. A corroded engine is dismantled piece by piece, every bolt resisting until the last twist sets it free. A staircase takes shape under skilled hands, each step locked in place like musical notes in a rising scale. Plaster sprays across a wall in an even coat, smoothing rough bricks into a painter's blank canvas. The drive shaft locks firmly into the fertilizer spreader, each bolt tightened with precision to keep the machine running strong for seasons ahead. A small weather guard slides it neatly over the screw, forming a protective cap that will shield against rain, rust, and the slow bite of wind for years. Molten plastic flows into a row of bottom molds, spinning quickly as it cools. Each mold releases a perfectly shaped bottle, identical to the next, ready for labels, caps, and whatever mysterious liquid they'll carry to store shelves. The vertical saw blade glides effortlessly through the timber, grain length splitting like well-cut sushi rolls. The cut is clean, precise, and leaves behind that sweet scent of fresh wood hanging in the air. A lathe spins the metal with hypnotic rhythm, the cutting tool carving its edges into a flawless shape. Each pass shaves away imperfections, revealing a polished, silver-bright surface. Strips interlace under the machine's steady hands, weaving strong patterns. The car door hand gets realigned, restoring its original swing. It closes with that satisfying factory floor thud. A strip bolt refuses to budge, but patience wins the fight. Bit by bit, it turns free, its threads intact, ready to work again. This is precision maintenance. Less brute force, more stubborn persuasion, and knowing when to keep turning slowly. A spare tire takes on a new life as a cable reel, spinning smoothly as it gathers loose electrical lines. Each loop stacks perfectly, keeping the cord untangled, ready for the next big job. Because in any workshop, neat cables mean a fewer swear words later. Steel mesh rolls into the bending machine curving steadily into rigid arcs. These shapes will become panels tough enough to hold back livestock, secure construction sites, or in the right hands, become an industrial art installation.
each stair panel slides into place with a reassuring click. The frame fills up step by step until the structure is solid enough to carry weight. Wire bends in quick, precise motions, each loop locking tight under the machine's pressure. Once shaped, it's nearly impossible to pull apart. Steel mesh links separate cleanly with a single twist, no hammer needed. The trenching machine bites deep into the ground, spitting soil aside as it carves a narrow, perfect channel. Whether for cables, pipes, or drainage, it leaves behind a work of engineering so clean it's almost decorative. A heated screw drops into foam, melting through it with sizzling ease, leaving a smooth, round tunnel behind. Hands reach into an ancient Whoa. clay jar, brushing away dust to reveal gold coins gleaming under the light. It's the kind of fine archaeologists dream of, not just history, but a treasure you can hold. Centuries buried, seconds uncovered, and instantly priceless. Fabric edges meet the cutter, each pass creating fine tassels that sway with every movement. It's a small touch, but it turns plain cloth into something lively, playful, and ready to dance with the wind. 